Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now we're standing outside of the Orlando Regional Medical Center where 53 Americans are currently fighting for their lives. Why? Because we have a wide open border. We have a government that is allowing these radical Islamic jihadists to come in. And what's going to happen? How do we fight back in America? Well, our government wants to, first off, blame the Second Amendment on it. And then they want to hold vigils, like vigils are going to bring people back from the dead. Negative. We have a huge problem with radical Islam. And we have a president that can't even say that. He calls it no hate slash radical Islam. He calls it hate slash a terror attack. What does that hate part add to it? What it does is it takes away from the fact that this is actually an attack on America. This is a terror attack on our way of life. Today, a gay nightclub. Tomorrow, a church. The next day, possibly a sports stadium with 60,000 people. Now, like I said earlier in another video, they can try to take our guns away all they want. And there's going to be people who are going to stand up to that. True patriots. But guess what's going to happen realistically if they actually try and take guns away? What's going to happen? These guys are going to build bombs and we're going to lose way more people. You could try to blame this on the Second Amendment all you want. You could try to blame this on the right all day long. This isn't white terror. This isn't black terror. This wasn't the KKK. This wasn't the Black Panthers. No, this was radical Islamic terrorist organizations who have now been activated. All it takes is a couple of these things to happen before these other guys get the go ahead and it all hell breaks loose. Now, today we came out here to show you the area where these people are fighting for their lives. And an odd thing about this is when we actually drove in here, there's a very high amount of security around this hospital. We actually had to take some uh, back roads and get around and walk to get out this way. They've blocked off this area into here, which I don't understand why. But right down the road, there is a place called One Blood. And it is an area where you can go donate blood. Now, I just spoke to one of the nurses up here in the emergency uh, room area over here. And she says that they've actually closed down the day because of the overwhelming uh, amount of people who have actually shown up to donate blood to these victims of Islamic terror. And that's what it is. This isn't an, a, an attack on homosexuals. This is an attack on America. And this has now been the worst mass shooting in American history. We need to put it into this. And how do we do that? We arm ourselves. The more people we have that have guns, the harder the target. These guys are cowards. They're bloodthirsty psychopaths who hate our way of life. And the only way we defeat them is by arming the American citizen. Stay vigilant. Stay aware. Stay awake. Understand what's going on. Don't just walk into a building and sit down and order your dinner. Look for exits. Look for things you can use as weaponry in case an attack happens. Because I guarantee you, the people here in Orlando watch what happened, you know, in San Bernardino. Watch what happened in Paris and thought this could never happen here in Orlando. You never know where these people are because, like I said before, our country has allowed these people, our government has allowed these psychos to come in here. And now they're going to begin preying on people. Notice when they came to Texas, a hard target, they got shot down quick. But when you come to an area, when you allow these institutes to have these signs put up on the buildings to say no guns allowed, you are making that a soft target. These guys are cowards. They're not going to go into an area that's heavily armed. Okay? That's the real issue. This isn't the GOP's fault. This isn't Donald Trump's fault that this happened. This is the fact that we're at a war right now with radical Islam, and we need to be aware, we need to be awake, we need to be armed. Constitutional carry should be called for. That's what you should see on every news channel right now, from Fox News to CNN to MSNBC. I don't need to talk, listen to Melissa Harris Perry tell me how my kids don't belong to me and how we should take guns away and how Eric Holder wants to say that he wants to take guns away and Danny, or Feinstein wants to wipe guns off the face of the earth. That's not going to happen. They've been invented. They're here. We need to be able to protect ourselves from these psychos. So this is a call to everyone out there. Be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. Be prepared because this is not going to be the first. This is not going to be the last. This is going to continue to happen. Tim Kennedy was on the Alex Jones Show today on the Sunday broadcast and talked about how they know there's going to be more stuff popping off in the future. It can come to you in North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Rhode Island, Delaware. It doesn't matter. Terra does not have blinders. They are ready to strike here on America because of our freedoms, our way of life, our beliefs. 
Yes, this is an America where we can allow people to be whatever sexual orientation they want, whatever the religion they want, whatever jobs they want to have, whatever they want to aspire to be. No, these guys come over here and they support Sharia law and they want to allow this kind of hate to happen. A hate on, of America, that's what the hate is. This is a radical group that hates what we stand for. That's where the hate is. I don't want to hear Obama come out and blame this on hate. No, this is a problem we have. And they're going to have more hospitals filled by more victims of radical Islamic terror if we don't stand up and do something. So tomorrow, I'm going to do my part. I'm O negative. I'm going to go donate blood for these people because these are Americans. Regardless of what you think, whatever your religious beliefs are about these people, what they did, if you don't agree with their, their being at that nightclub or their orientation, put all that aside. This was an attack on America, plain and simple. We need to be ready. Stay vigilant. Stay awake. Stay aware. This is Joe Biggs with Infowars.com reporting outside of the hospital where 53 people are fighting for their lives right now.